This is presented by HPS Trade, Japanese freight forwarder in Thailand. Hello, it's Eno. In this video, I discuss payment and trade transactions. There are various methods of payment to foreign companies to avoid risks. Make sure you understand them well and choose the best payment method for your situation. There are the below two main methods of settlement in trade. Foreign exchange remittance. Documentary bill settlement. Documentary bill settlement is explained in a separate video. If you are interested in, please refer to the link in the overview section. This time, I will explain in detail about foreign exchange remittance. First of all, what is a foreign exchange remittance? A foreign exchange remittance is a simple method of remittance in which the flow of money shifts from the importer to the bank to the exporter. Since the flow of funds and the request for funds transfer from the importer are in the same direction, it is referred to as a parallel exchange. There are three types of foreign exchange remittances as followings. TT, telegraphic transfer remittance. MT, mail transfer. DD, demand draft. Let's look at each one in detail. Let me explain about telegraphic transfer remittance. Acronymically known as TT Settlement, this is a settlement method in which payment instructions between banks are made by telegraph. It is the fastest method of trade settlement and is used for urgent transactions. Next is Ordinary Money Transfer or MT Settlement. MT stands for Mail Transfer, a payment method in which interbank payment instructions are sent by mail. It is less expensive than TT settlement, but its disadvantage is that it takes longer. Finally, there is the remittance check. It is called DD settlement, which stands for demand draft. The importer sends the remittance check to the exporter, who brings it to the bank, to collect the payment. Most trade transactions use TT settlement, but it is a good idea to understand each, so that you can use them differently depending on the situation. Let's look at the advantages and disadvantages of foreign exchange remittances. The advantage is that it is speedy and the flow of money is simple. Since there is no need to go through a bank or exchange documents, it is often used for small transactions without much hassle. The disadvantage is that the settlement risk is greater because the transaction is conducted only between the exporter and importer. As with documentary bill settlement, no letter of credit is used to guarantee payment, so any problems must be resolved between the two parties. Since it is more difficult than expected to negotiate with parties with different languages, cultures, and business customs, be sure to understand the disadvantages before making your choice. Since overseas companies are physically located far away from each other, in trade transactions, it is difficult to grasp information about the economic situation of the other party, and credit risks are always present. If you enter into a contract without knowing the credit status of the other party, problems may arise, such as late payment or failure to be shipped goods due to the other party's company's financial difficulties. In order to avoid such credit risks, it is important to use credit bureaus at the beginning of a business relationship to ascertain the credit standing of the counterparty. In foreign exchange remittance, there is a risk that the goods will not be sent even though payment has been made, or that the goods have been sent but the payment will not be made. Make sure you understand the advantages and disadvantages and keep smooth trade transactions in mind. If you found the content of this issue useful, please subscribe to the channel, like it, and share it on social networking sites. That's all for this time. Thank you very much. In this channel, I explain about international logistic knowledge for your better understanding. I hope this video will be a good support for your logistic job. If you have any shipment from Thailand or to Thailand, please feel free to contact me in san anytime. Also, I'm very motivated to keep updating these videos. If you subscribe, press good or comment anything. Well, thank you. See you next time.